Sensible Fitness has teamed up with Jungle Gyms and their cooking school to present you with a delicious recipe. Welcome to the cooking school at Jungle Gyms. I'm Lee Oaks, I'm the director of the school, and today I'm working with Susan Deal, one of our sous chefs. We're going to prepare for you today an Asian spicy salmon packet. This is a great way to make salmon. Uh, you can make it for one person, or as many people as you need, and each person gets their own packet on their plate, so it's kind of fun. You might even be able to talk your kids into eating some salmon this way. We're starting with a nice five to six ounce salmon filet with no skin, and we've cut 12 inches of aluminum foil and put our salmon right in the middle. I'm going to just rub and sprinkle some Asian flavorings on here and the first thing that we're using today is Asian chili garlic sauce and this is found in the Asian section of your grocery store and of course in the Asian aisle at Jungle Gyms uh, we have a couple of different varieties of this so taste a few and see which ones you like the best. I'm going to start with a half a teaspoon of the chili garlic paste because it is very spicy. And I'm going to spread that real evenly over the top of my fish so all the fish gets little punches of flavor from the chili garlic sauce. If you like a lot of heat, you can add more uh, to your taste. Then I'm going to drizzle the fish with just a little bit of sesame oil. Is that two teaspoons, Susan? I think that sounds right. One teaspoon? So, just one teaspoon. One teaspoon, okay. One teaspoon per salmon per filet. filet. All right. Then I have a teaspoon of soy sauce. And some chopped fresh ginger. You want to chop that ginger very fine so that it's not real fibrous when you bite into it. Or you could use a ginger paste. And then I'm going to sprinkle the top with some nice sliced green onions lots of flavor and I think we'll save a couple for the garnish just in case we want that. And I'll grind some black pepper right over the top. Then I'm going to make a little package out of this. I want to close it very tightly so that the steam stays in the package and the steam will help to cook our fish as well as the high temperature of the roasting. And we're going to put this packet into a 450 degree oven and depending on the thickness of your fish, it should take about 12 to 15 minutes. A real hot oven. Now who couldn't make that? That's right, that is as simple as it gets. We've got one here that we just took out of the oven. So it looks nice if you serve it on a plate and then let your guests open their own packets. And they'll get the nice steam that comes out of there. It smells wonderful. And we'll garnish this with just a few extra fresh scallions for just a little bit of crunch. Doesn't that look good? That looks wonderful. And the aroma is amazing. Yeah, it is. It smells great. 